What areas you you would oh, think that the Steelers need yes. to improve on most in this upcoming season, considering it was kind of like the tale of two seasons in 2022? Absolutely. Explosive plays. Mm -hmm. They were near the bottom in, in lacking of explosive plays. Those chunk plays, Ike knows that can derail a good defense. You know, I mean, those the ability for um, – for uh, a, a, an offense to be able to go 15, 30 plays here and there. So you're not plotting your way down the field, which can tire a defense out and so forth. But the fact is explosive plays that kind of, you know, it, it just, it gets you to the goal faster, you know, and it makes you more explosive teams have to back off. So those are the big plays that I think with Kenny, Kenny Pickett, just mm -hmm. dynamite guy, young man with mobility. He's got arm strength and he's just, He's got that captain cool thing. Whatever he needs to get done under pressure, the kid, pressure doesn't bother him. I was really, really pleasantly surprised to see how well he operated in those, you know, short time frames running the two minute offense and everything. Yep. And it didn't always show up in the stat sheet, but what we noticed was what the game dictated in just making smart, intelligent plays that might not show up on a stat sheet, but is the difference between winning and losing in the NFL. Oftentimes it's marginal. Exactly so. And a lot of it had to do with, I believe, in his first five games, Kenny threw eight interceptions. And over yep. his last eight games, he threw one. Um, you know, that's that's proper decision making. That's going through your progressions, your offensive line giving you the time. You're not panicking and you're throwing and you're using all the, the God given gifts you got and you're leading your team down the field. And it culminated with that Raiders game. Think about it. With all the pressure of a game 50 years in the making. Franco Harris celebrating the Immaculate Reception. We lose our dear uh, teammate, uh, Franco Harris. So this run up to this game, which, like I said, was 50 years in the making, there was pressure like you can't believe. And yet it's one of two back-to-back -back games that Kenny leads a, a last-minute touchdown drive in back-to-back -back minute games, throwing a touchdown pass in the last minute of the game. First time ever in NFL history a kid does that. And kudos to him. How could you have a bigger obstacle in front of you than, than all that pressure with the Immaculate Reception, Celebration, Hall of Honor Museum, all these stuff going on with the Raiders there, and it's minus 10 degrees wind chill, and you got to lead this team down the field and, and, and put this game away for the frozen faithful that are sitting up in the stands there. Mm -hmm. And the kid does it. I mean, it's just it's awesome. Just awesome. And that's, to me, that's how legends are made. That's how legends are born. Moments like that. Absolutely. Where were you, Craig, when you found out about the news about your teammate, Franco Harris? I was uh, in my my office. I was uh, at work. It was um, somewhere between 5.30 and 6 a.m. And somebody texted me and said, man, I'm really sorry to hear about Franco. And I went, well, Franco, what? What? And then I found out because I hadn't been listening to the news. I was just preparing for the radio show that day that uh, Max and I do, and uh, it was devastating. Uh, we just had eight days earlier, he had just come to Giant Eagle Market District um, here in Pittsburgh. I do a Tuesday night show with um, uh, with Pat, Pat Fryermuth, you know, the tight end, and uh, he came in and sat down with Pat and I. So you got that Penn State connection. Pat's interviewing him, and we're having fun. He's my old teammate, and we're talking about things. And I always laugh because I always told Franco, "You got me into the Hall of Fame because your Hall of Fame shot is you carrying the ball, and it's a flow thirty-six. And guess what? If you look in the lower right-hand corner, that's my foot and my knee. <laughs> I'm in the Hall of Fame, baby." <laughs>